actually, that's where Sonic is from. Ah, uh, that's where Sonic's from, guys. Also, I think uh, Mobius is from that story of the games too, to the extent of my knowledge. Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay. This, so this, All right. this is going to inform the theming. Like, this image to me, like, informs the theming of this whole game. That's a strong. And the fact that it's Outer Wilds and we know that this is a space game, but, like, the eye is a tree? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm already, I'm already in love. It's it's real good, dude. I can't. I can't okay. All right, so uh, I'm Ben. This is Scott, and this is taking credit for it. And this one's, this one's mine. I'm gonna. Own this. Yeah. A lot of these games. I want, I want Ben to run this. A one. lot of these games, the games that we play here, Scott's like, hey Ben, do you want to sit down and play this game? And I'm like, fuck yeah, let's do it. You don't have to bleep that because it's very early in the video. <laughs> That's fine. Um, <laughs> and Scott's like, let's, and I'm like, I'm like, let's go. And then there's some games where I'm like, hey, do you want to play this game that both of us love very much? Like, and Scott's like, yeah, let's do that. Uh, this is one where, like, this this is me showing this game to Scott because I beat this game literally two days ago on my first playthrough, and like, I'm not gonna lie to you, is one of my favorite games. I love this game to death and back. This is so such a good game uh, that immediately I was like, I have to, I want to experience this game again. But it's not really a game that lends itself super well to replays. So the best way that I can experience this game again. In my opinion, because I am currently going through and like getting all of the achievements and stuff like that, but mm. the the best one, the best way that I can experience this again is by experiencing vicariously Scott's, through yeah, experiencing yeah. Scott's first playthrough. So I am here as an observer, much as you guys are, uh, and I'm gonna kind of. Ben says he's an observer. Ben is the host of this one. I sure. am, I'm the vessel. Ben is the host. Yeah. I am I am not going to spoil anything for Scott. I'm going to let him get stuck. I'm going to let him uh, figure stuff out on his own. But I am, if he needs me to, I will be there to set him on the right track. And so to like, uh, me and Ben sat down, we, we did Banjo-Kazooie. We were like, that's a game we both love. We did Sonic Adventure 2. That's a game we both that's love. A game we both love. And then we did like a hat in time where I was like, Ben, you probably fucking like this game a lot. And Ben was like, all right. And then we and then, I, and then I did. Yeah. And so this actually might be the first time on the channel where somebody who we make content with has come to me and said, hey, I want you to play this. Yeah. So I'm very excited. And this also, I will credit where it's due, uh, my good buddy Patrick, um, who has told me once that he sometimes puts our videos on mute and lets all of them play in an infinite playlist in the background. So that's kind thanks of for that, Pat. Thanks, um, Pat. Uh, we were both in the wedding party. Hell yes, yeah. Yes, you were, but on different sides, though. You yeah, were exactly. a bridesmaid. I was a green suit. He was a white suit. Gray, gray suit. Gray suit, yeah. Gray suit. Um, yeah, so he recommended this game to me. Cool. So. Uh, Griffin McElroy of My Brother, My Brother and Me and The Besties fame recommended this game to me. So it's fair. Uh, all right, we're going to jump in. I'm really excited. I... Like, the only thing that I know about this game is that if you've been spoiled, you know how to beat it right away. And yeah. if you haven't been spoiled, then enjoy eating shit. Yeah. So I'm I'm here for it. Uh, new new expedition. New expedition. Yeah, all right, cool. All right. I love percentages. I love percentages. They're so good. <laughs> They're better than bars. Hot hot take. I like percentages more than I like bars. You know what I is my least favorite thing is when there's like a like an emblem for the loading Ugh. and like it it like like i love uh like on the original wii shop you would yeah you would do a thing it's, it's, and it would it would be mario runs mario across the running. screen that was, that and, was, that and was. he would hit a block to show like a third yeah and then another block to show two thirds mm -hmm. and then the third block to show it down that was good yeah i love that i hate something like um dead by daylight i love the game yeah great game i know you love but that like game. it's one two three four and then five for a slash but yeah. it just keeps going until the game's actually loaded. Okay, now you did tell me that there was an achievement you wanted. Okay, you kill I, yourself in the first 60 yeah, seconds. I'm gonna uh, die. I'm the marshmallow who has been roasting. There you go, you died in the first 60 seconds. I don't, there you go. There I go. Died in 60 seconds, that's a Nicolas Cage movie. Died within 60 seconds of waking up. You was are dead. Worth it to me. Uh, oh, and the game pass, of course, all right. I actually, that's the other thing. I bought this game on Steam without buying Game Pass and I paid 28 Canadian dollars for it. Uh, I also, oh. oh yeah, no. 
This, oh. that's, this is one of the endings you can get. Um, oh, I just did it, huh? Uh, I paid $28 for this game. All right, we get, we'll uh, see the credits at yeah. the end. I paid $28 for this game, and I, I learned later that I could um, have paid like six bucks to subscribe to Games Pass and play it uh, that Feel way free, yeah. for 22 Canadian dollars less. And I do not feel like I've wasted my money. I was happy to give that extra money to the developers. And now based off of that, that explanation Ben just gave you, he also gave me. Because um, it's hard I, to sell this game because you can't give too much away. But I have Game Pass and I started downloading this for free when we were talking about it. But like, as Ben was talking about it, I was like, fuck it, I'll just buy it. And so I I also chipped the cash in. I just, I was like, fuck it. Like, if it's, if it's that good, I know I'm going to like it. So... Here we are. The la okay, the last game that has made me like look at my my top five games of all time and be like, maybe this has to move around a little bit was Spider-Man PS4, and this one is the the most recent. Okay, so can I ask you now that I've I've died, now that I've been killed, um, what in your mind is your top five right now? Um, right now, in this moment, don't think too hard about it. Just like tell me top five. Number one is Super Smash Bros. Melee. Uh, number two yeah, is The so Legend of Zelda, yeah, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons. Uh, number three is Mega Man Zero Three. Oh, oh. Uh, number four, I think, is Super Mario Four. You press <sighs> X to blow it out. It doesn't. It, uh, it, it did say X X, X to X. Uh, okay, sorry. I was I was looking at the uh, the like the the commands up there. Mm, you know? That's fair. That's fair. Um, so number four. Uh, so okay. So I've got Super Smash Bros. Melee is number one. Uh, Oracle of Ages and Seasons is number two. Um, Delicious. Very nice. Uh, Oracle of Ages Seasons is number two. Um, Mega Man Zero Three is number three. Uh, Super Mario 64 is number four. And fucking number five is a goddamn three-way tie between Outer Wild, Spider-Man PS4, and Portal 2 because I don't know where to put any of them. I can't look at all three of those games and be like, I have to put one of them. I, 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 two, two of them can't be there. I can't. I, I, that's a decision I'm not capable of making. I need to play a game that I like more than those three, uh, but less than Super Mario 64, and I haven't found that game yet. Fair. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launched, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly you're uh, here, yeah, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. What do you think? Uh, how sassy do you want to be? Um, <laughs> if you're sure you fixed the retro rockets. That was only a problem one time. <laughs> one time, dude. Just once. And then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to twill on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch code from Hornfells at the observatory. Oh, God, my accent's all over the place. Before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your good boys or whatever. That was an attempt at Australian. That's fair. Yeah. Um, also, one thing I like about this game uh, is that um, while you're here on this planet, um, you gotta launch it. Ah, of course. While you're here on this planet, um, everyone you talk to, uh, most people that you talk to will have some story about how comedically bad the, uh, um, the space program is and how unreliable the ships are and how they constantly explode. Um, which to me seems like a pretty fucked up thing to say to a dude who's like just about to be an astronaut. Oh my god, all right. So this jumping is a little weird, but yeah, that's, that's not the end of the world. Comes it's, it's all fine. That's a nighttime thing. Everything's okay. Whoa. Yeah, all right. You gonna practice a little bit? I will say, the flying in this game takes a lot oh, of getting oh. used to. Oh, oh, we're gonna reset that. Uh, down, up, so... Okay, so yeah, so... Uh, okay, alright, so... And then you've got your, your other directions with the forward and the analog stick. Oh, this kinda sucks. It... It's re it's really hard in the model ship. It, it's easier with the, uh, with the, the big ship, but I will say, uh, when I first took off in the big ship, I crashed it into a tree, and it took me ten distinct minutes to get out into space. Oh boy, all right. So I guess, like, I'm getting it. No, no, you, you're doing much better than I was. Uh, is there anything I should be worrying about here as far as, like, 
like landing thing. Oh, oh, oh boy. No, there's no like reward or anything for no, it. This like, is literally just to give you an idea of what flying is like. All right, so I'll, I'm just gonna make sure I got this. Let me just. God, I wish there was more of a shadow. I will I also say that when you are in the ship, there is a button that you can press that is the landing camera, and it shows you the perspective from the bottom of the ship. That sounds very handy. Oh no! Oh you no! also you also oh, have the advantage. No! You also have the advantage of the ship uh, that you're actually flying. Oh, it's going backwards. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! To reset. Get out of here. Fuck you. All right. So I, I get it a little bit. Yeah. And the, there's also the advantage of the actual ship is that you don't really need to land it well. Ah, okay. Well, you can land it upside down, and then you get out of the ship, and like you're out of the ship, and it's fine. Would you like to be Mika or Micah? Um, sure, I'll be Mika. All right. Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tank tanks exploded on re-entry. Ow. You'll you'll be okay flying the big one, right? Oh <laughs> boy! You have not instilled faith in Mika. That's a rough look. All right. Who's our friend here? I want to engage with the world. You yeah, know? do it. No. Hey, old hatchling. Oh, all right. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. But when you return, you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Um, I am only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. We stay in the solar system. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Ha ha! The good stuff is diarrhea! Hey! Let's do that one. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. <laughs> Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. I tried to go for like an old hippie. I like that. It, it felt very, um... The hey-o the hey is what? Well, it is very Tommy Chong. Hey, oh. stranger. Yeah. How are you doing? Retire. I'll do this one. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Um, they I'm told really... my odds of survival are statistically quite high. <laughs> like that. Yeah, the space program's certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Thanks, you. Yikes. I so mean, this is a cool I, little museum. I like the world building, you know? Yeah. That looks like an old drone, maybe? Or is it a model? I think that's a model of the ship. Okay. All right. It doesn't look like there's a ton that I can interact with. Uh, there are some, uh, there are some, like, signs next to stuff. Like, if you go to that chair there. Uh. uh there's a little sign oh, next to it that chair. has a... Uh... Oh. This pilot seat used to be pioneering astronaut Phillips Bar. It, wait, this pilot seat used by pioneering. There we go. I, I, yeah. I, I imposed some extra words there. Sure. Used by pioneering astronaut Phillips Bar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Hathian history. Yikes. That's a rough one to reconcile. Yeah. I think that might be... See, like I said, literally everything about this game, like, is, like, your your character being told, wow, hey, you know how shitty your space program is? It's pretty You're fucking bad, huh? Die. Is there... And there's no, no interior. All right. No words. Hello there, the... Marl? Darth Marl? Darth Marl. Darth Marl. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was just thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old, isn't it? It's about time you built a new one, less flammable one. <laughs> a big tree in the village would be perfect choice. I don't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Uh, the launch plan is flammable? Ha! <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all launches so far. It'll definitely be fine of yours, probably. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Marl. You bastard. Oh, hello, Gnice. Nice? Gnis? Gnis? It's gotta be like Nis. Or Nice? Nice. Nice. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Uh. Yeah, tell me. Oh, sure. I made all of the instruments, you know. Let me see. 
his church drums, Rabbix banjo, Gabriel's flute, and Felspar's harmonica. Of course, though, Felspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing that harmonica around the campfire. Oh, yeah, I should point out all of the Harthians here are genderless. Oh, all right, cool. I, I noticed the they's that were yeah. being thrown around. Anyway. Y'all yeah, hear music in space. That'll be one of the space programs of the travelers. If you feel like company, you can always push, pull your signal scope and track them down. Thank you, Ganese. <laughs> Ganese. I feel like probably like the G doesn't get pronounced, but everyone pronounces it as like a personal yeah. attack on them. Like when people are like gnome. Yeah. So, yeah. Funny fucking joke, dickhead. Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Mori won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. I will note that your child voice is identical to your wife's child voice in our uh, oh, shit, our really? ongoing playthrough oh, of uh, Starcross Myth. She's literally like, "Wow!" I <laughs> oh, should. I started off a little more aggressive, but then I ended up being a little too toad, you know. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Oh, uh, do I play with the kids? It's not a bad tutorial for the signal scope. All right. Sure, Whoa, let's play. Hey. Okay, here are the rules. Glenna and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. All right. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. All right. I also really like that they have the four double. Eyes, yeah, so. yeah, that's... That is a, a nice... It's a nice touch. Ooh. Ooh. Did I just ace it? Pretty much. Oh, You're gonna have uh... to... Okay! I gotta do some you work. You gotta find stuff. a way up there. Up there, yeah. I, I mean, I came down from there, so... Oh my god, I, the vaulting jump is... Like, yeah, it's a little weird. But when, once you get into other planets, like you don't usually use the the jumping so much because you are in a spacesuit and have a jetpack. It's pretty good. Does the spacesuit and jump pack uh, work as good as the, uh, the um, model spaceship? <laughs> uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot easier to control. Okay, cool. <laughs> that works for me then. All right, so it was- You have come to a dead end. What? Ah, shit. I was already there. Damn, flabbit. Also, now night's setting in, and those poor kids are still hiding in the woods somewhere. Yeah, well, that's what they get for hiding so good. Ha-ching! ka -ching Let me go. Oh, Jesus. So the kids are up here somewhere, right? Nope. Yeah, he's the single scope. Okay, they're over there. Jag flabbit. Jag flabbit. Super nearby. But up there? So they're kind of up on that ledge, right? Okay. You gotta find a way up there. I see a big ramp. I am... I'm not dumb, right? Uh, I... I'm gonna... Uh, I'll help you out here, because this isn't really important. No, but... don't... Don't even All worry right. about it. I'm going. I'm doing it. Is that... That's one of the kids. That's one of the kids. You got him. I'm a fucking genius and a excellent... Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was... No, he's mine. Was... He's mine. Well, fine. Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? All right, Tefra. Otherwise, we'll play hide and seek ah, forever. Jesus. And starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> ha, beans! Dang, flabbit. All right, 34. Move in the right direction. That's the, no, you, right now you are not going the right direction, but you have found the hiding spot. Okay. Then I have a feeling, hoo hoo, that tonight will be a fine time. Tonight will be a fine time. Ha ha! Hey! Kobe! I mean, uh, somebody who didn't die in a helicopter crash. Kareem! <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. Hey, it's Mikey Moo! Alright, so um, everybody uh, follow Junkbox Gaming. They are great, and they're friends of us. Nice. Yeah. 
All right, so I caught them both. Do I get anything? No, you don't get anything. That's your tutorial on using the signal scope, basically. Right. And you can see here your frequency is hide and seek. So and so that's Outer Wilds Venturers. Outer Wilds Venturers mm -hmm. is uh, the other astronauts that have been fired. So if you point that yeah. at the planet, you will hear the instruments that our friend uh, 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 Gnat uh, uh, told us about. Oh, I like this. What? What? All right, I'm already yeah, right? fucking, like, I'm deep in the, I, I'm a big fan of this, all right. Uh, how many other people should I be speaking to? At this uh, you point? can talk to everyone. There's only a couple left, I think. Uh, what do we got up here? This is where, that's that, where that's the kids, where the kids were. were, yeah. So you're on your uh, way. I will say there is one other tutorial that will be very useful you to, for you to do, and I will guide you to it in case you're watching us. Fishing ram, fishing ram. Singing helps me pass the time. You are leaving the crater? I guess we'll all be a little busy without you around and letting the hand. That big water plant, giant steep. That's where I'd go. <laughs> Why is that? Why, why is that? One time after the rest of the others we left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant State. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly Gabbro couldn't go any further. Yeah, tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. <laughs> As though ex exercising a will of its own, the water just refused to let Gabbro go in a vapor. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect him from something. Then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. a tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! Ah! I mean, that's what Gabbro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabbro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. I like Spinal. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Uh, I will say, uh, Gabbro, uh, of the characters in this, is probably one of my favorites. Already talked to that kid. He's sad because he lost the hide-and-seek game. Because I beat his ass. Beat his ass at hide-and-seek. Dumb child. Idiot child. Do I have feet? I do. Whoa! All right, cool. Not a lot of games do that. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right, game. Not only have you won me over in your tone and spirit, but also in your emphasis on uh, importance of character representation. For real? I'm going to... Oh, here we go. Hi, astronaut. Whoa! Okay. You know this patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes super long time to go away. Is that, sorry, just, you read that as like super, is it supposed to be like a held vowel? Or I think, is it supposed I think to be so. like so, 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 super. Well, he doesn't stutter anywhere else, so I figured okay. it was a held vowel. All right, that makes sense then. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Know, it sounds like something I would have said, so mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. Yeah, I heard touching her hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. All right, good tip. Duly noted. This is, I will say, where I died the first time I was playing this game. Did you or, run into... Oh, yeah, I jumped, I jumped on the fence, and I jumped into the ghost matter, and I was and burned alive. died immediately. All right. Well, uh, there's another good tutorial just to your uh, left there, that sign there. Uh, oh. This will be important for navigating, and I, I didn't want you to miss this, because it is... Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. Strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with the camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. It's me, Hornfels. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to note that voice because Hornfels is a character in this game. Oh no! All right, so it's um, you've my, committed. You've doomed Hornfels. It's my bad quasi Australian attempt at a voice. Um, do I have a? What's the camera? Uh, the, just to your right there. There uh, is there's oh. a camera set up. Oh. 
right bumper. Yeah, but like, is should I be aiming it? Like, what? You just take a screenshot. Take a snapshot. Okay. There you go. So that's the ghost matter. That's what it looks like. Gotcha. So you can see it if you throw, if you like projectile something into it, you can see it, but you can only see it with that, the camera. Okay. So if you hit it with something, it appears. Yes. But with the camera. But only for a flash. But with the camera, you can you just can see, see its entire presence. You can see he's throwing rocks into it. And yeah. It's like, okay. All right. All right. I dig that. That is very helpful. You yeah. were right. Who's this guy? Or uh, uh, person. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. awesome. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Uh, right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight? Fuck you, Gossip! Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you and me and the vast endlessness of space. <laughs> cool. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed up the retro rockets. So listen, <laughs> there's a satellite, which is probably, which is definitely not a piece of broken mining equipment, uh, set up on the zero-g cave and needs repairs. If you're looking for a last-minute zero-g practice, head down to the lift in the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident that you can make the ship repair repairs in space. One more repaired quote satellite unquote i would up. i would recommend doing this all right cool get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch so i'm going down yeah Ooh. no loading screen i like this mm -hmm. game you're winning me over and i already wanted to like you so all right oh Wait, there we there go. There we go. Don't need that. Do need that. There we go. So here we are. Zero G cave, zero G cave, bitch. So this is gonna be like your spacesuit. Oh. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. So you can still jump, uh, and you can see there just to the left. Uh, yeah. You have a gravity indicator. Uh, telling you how strong gravity is in comparison to Timber Hearth, this planet. Okay, and I also have a fuelometer. Yep, and an O2 an O2 meter as well. Hey, hey! Nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G. It's true, Time you out. are. So you're going in there in the cave? Meow. <laughs> what? No, I'm fine. Great, mm, fine. You don't. You, you don't look, look fine. fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it! Unacceptable conditions! <laughs> now I've got hand sweats. Like the meat sweats, but less meat. Like the meat sweats, but less meat. So your zero-g cave is just down there. Down there? Yeah. Oh, beams. Yeah, that's a whole fucking thing, huh? Here I go. Here I go. I'll just, yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Mm. So I'm supposed to be retrieving some sort of satellite? You're not retrieving it, you're repairing it. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's going to be very useful once you actually get into the zero D, G. This is, this is going to be useful for both um, maneuvering on, on planets uh, and also um, flying your ship. So if you lock onto something by pressing oh. the left stick in, okay. uh, you can hold A and you'll match the velocity. So you can see here you're 19 meters away from it uh, and you are moving at 5 meters per second. So if you if you hold A, you will match its velocity, so you'll be moving at zero per second. But you have to be locked on in order yeah. for that to be a thing. All right, I I am getting the vibe now already, but enjoying greatly. I think this is probably the most important tutorial in in the start of this game. And when it's a minus, you're moving away from it, right? So, like you're, when your speed is minus, you're moving away from it. Oh come on. Come on. Come on. Sick, yeah, yeah, sick yeah. Nasty. I'm getting good. Got one more thing to repair. Oh, oh there it is, right? It's yeah. inside the fucker. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? All right. That's cool. Oh, oh, beans. Sailed right past it. Yep, that's uh, that's going to happen a lot. 
I can't talk about the achievement that I'm currently trying to get um, in uh, in in this game right now, uh, but without spoiling too much. Uh, but I will say it involves flying mechanics and is probably in contention for one of the hardest things I have ever done in a video oh, game. There we go. He fucking told you you had one job. It was not to concuss yourself. Yeah, well, what if I... Oh, oh, but, oh, it's fine. We're fine. This seems appropriate. I will also say you are currently in an, air, an environment that has oxygen, so it's not a big deal. Uh, mm, but when The you, O2 meter. I when see you that. run out of fuel, like in space, your O2 meter, meter will go down as you as you go through. Things. How do I replenish my? Uh, fuel? You um, your fuel um, right now. You don't really need to, but there are sometimes fuel canisters lying around. Uh, yeah, you can take yeah. it off in your ship and hang it back up on its hook, and it will automatically replenish its fuel. Yeah, okay. Um, and then O2 uh, comes back whenever you are exposed to trees. Trees, um, interesting. Or, or when you go into an, an area that has uh, an environment that has oxygen in it. But Ben, global warming doesn't exist. Global warming doesn't exist. That's correct. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Global yeah, this, warming this, is a this serious has been a problem. bit from both of us. It's not, uh, not something we like to joke about when people think we might be being serious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so your oxygen, what the, what's important about that and why I bring it up is because your oxygen, you need it to survive in space. Yes. Uh, when you run out of fuel, you start burning O2. You burn O2 to move around. Okay. So uh, and the ship and the, the space suit that you actually have in your ship has like booster rockets so that you can, you can like take off faster. Oh fuck. What was the voice for this guy? Nicely done. Of course, it'd be a little more stressful enough. when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. A tough voice to maintain but i've already made myself learning impaired <laughs> <laughs> i can see you're itching to get off this rock and so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already best of luck out there and hey try to avoid getting yourself killed now that you've put so much time in the training you got it thanks so i was doing a um like a bostonian voice when me and uh reyna and i not me and reyna, reyna and i mm -hmm. were playing a game not too long ago and she said, well, Scott's going for a Gilbert Gottfried thing. Oof. And I die! <laughs> that's, that's rough. It was the the worst. I saw smoke coming from Yongbar Crater up north and figured I should go to check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm calling. Tech tight. That's an enemy in Zelda. Ah, that's right. <laughs> mm. Hello, scout launcher. Uh, so you can launch it if you want, and then just kind of explore around. Okay, all right. Uh, launch. And then you can just take snapshots. It'll continue moving through space. You can just uh, take a snapshot uh, every now well, and then. Well, I feel like I winged that. And you can take as many snapshots as you like. Oh, it's just going to go, huh? And those signs there basically just tell you what points of interest there are um, that you're, you're pointing at. So if you hold the button now, it'll warp back into your launcher. Holding. Oh, you can also use the D-pad to rotate the angle that you're looking at it. Okay, I'm doing some uh, surveying. How am I looking? That looks Niche. like crater. National Geographic. Oh, you're gonna hit a rock. Boop. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, it sticks to walls and stuff, so you can look around with the D-pad now. Well, that looks like. It's a, whole, it's a whole lot of tree. Yeah, right. Come back, scout! Yeah. Go, my child! Send yourself to the many heavens! For which we will take our name. For which we'll take our name. I'm just spamming it. Yeah, that's, ba that's, what, that's what I do. Um, when you fire the scout into ghost matter, by the way, it will do the same little, like, green poof of, uh, of ghost matter that that kid gets when he throws a rock in. Love that. All right, so nothing important here. I'll right. tell you right now, this, this is mostly just to show you how the scout works. There's not really a whole lot for you to discover with it here. Fine. Well, I'm learning. There you go. There's your smoke from the crater. Oh. Smoke from the crater. Bow, 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 bow. All right, well, fuck, just come back, child. Whoop. There we go. I don't care. So I'm supposed to be getting to that. To the observatory. Yeah, uh, there's a oh, dude Jesus. on that platform to speak to if you want to. There? Yeah. yeah. All right. You don't have to. Wow. But you might as well. You might as well make friends with everyone, right? Yeah. This one How do you? 
Hmm. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for launch, right? I'm noticing a, I'm noticing a lot of these for you are having, like, British Australian accents. Yeah, I don't know. I just like whenever I see an elf, I think of Orlando Bloom. So that's fair. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the outer wilds benches frequency, so I can pick up the traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybex Benjo coming from Brill Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I love the implication there. It's that like there is the po- that guy. This character believes that there is the possibility that Rybex like, oh, I'm in danger. I better like. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, come on. Okay. All right. That would be... I vibe that. That'd be some drums. We got on this one. Uh, no, same shit? Same shit? Yeah, same shit. I think those two are considered one select celestial body. Uh, okay, and I got green on one, but not quite green on the other. So that makes some sense. What are we... Ooh, oh, that's fine. I mean, because they're or like your planet is spinning as well, so there it is possible using the outer wilds frequency that you'll have to like look through your planet to pick someone else, right? Well, fuck me. Oh, it's right there. Oh, some whistling. And, and they're they're moving, right? So yeah, of course. And I can't see the planet, so I can't track it. All right, fine, fine. You know, it's just a cool, it's just a cool little feature. This is I am immediately engaged in this world. I know. I was like I was the same way. I was like I was like this is just like like I really like Timber Hearth. It just seems so chill and nice. Should I bother with yeah. that? No, we're fine. There's no one there. Nothing there. <laughs> uh, should I bother going down? No, down leads back to the back to the launch tower. Oh, like that. Jump off point that yeah. I thought was a jump on point. This has got to be you. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day of the last day, buddy. Uh, it's the translator tools in Nagel Fright, too. I'm I'm excited and it's making me nervous. Nauseous. Nauseous. <laughs> Nauseous. Just, Nauseous. just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, any way you want. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Oh, jeez. Don't, do not break it. Please, God, understand this. Do not break it. Please. This voice is kind of evolving over time. Yeah, it kind of, like, I was jumping and trying to impersonate your voice. and you I couldn't, kinda, You couldn't I, get a beat on it. I wound up being Christopher Walken. Yeah. Please, please God, do not break. Please, the, the, the translator. Do not break the translator. I ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the, no- the new Nomai statue? Uh, of course! Wait, just here for the launch Uh, you might as well see the statue too. I mean, it's literally immediately to our Of course. Room. Yeah, I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfells just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? <sighs> Hornfells. Hornfells with the unfortunate I've, voice I've that you, you have committed to him. Before you Wait, know. hold on. Let me just. I, I'm gonna read this line as Hornfels okay. just to make sure I don't lose it. Yeah, I know you'd want to see it before you hit it off. Hornfels just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? There you go. All right, locked I, in. I can, I can replicate that. Makes me wish we could go on a re. We could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It looks like they had fur, huh? Fur is weird. Is this a joke about the fact that dinosaurs had feathers? Is that the bit here? It might be, yeah. <laughs> Turns out they may have had uh, feathers. <laughs> Who was to say? Crikey! Crikey. This is the first fully intact statue we ever found, you know? And how, for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on, you got a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Thank that's you. The, that's the Nomai statue. I right? like how. Oh, yeah. So this is a museum, so there are a lot of, like, if you want to read them, there's a lot of things to read. Okay. I mean, I feel like just for the flow of the episode, I'll I'll do a lot of observing. 
Um, this it's... one you might want to interact with a little bit. Yeah, I do love this. This piece of now my writing was essential to deciphering the unique language. I'm still Hornfeld. Yeah. Although the text is linear, now my text often branches off from central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. So if you, I don't know if you have the translator tool yet, but if you look at that little swirl there, it might give you the option to translate it. This is your signal scope. Yeah, I don't. It should, if you walk it up to text, it will automatically come out, typically. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! I don't, I don't know as we have to give these ones voices. We are nearly ready. Filix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. I like that. You're doing the like the robot voice for the translator. You like that? Yeah, yeah that's I, good. I thought that was appropriate. And so the other thing to note there is a, another line of text appeared after you translated it. Uh -huh. Fortunately, the Ad Adel Rocks... Sorry, <laughs> I went into an accent there. Fortunately, the Adel Rocks lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search... So that's just a little bit of the gnome. Okay. Interesting. I like that. All right, let's just hit a couple of these. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the gnome I also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered by Brittle Hollow. Some ancient gnome I art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the gnome I originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. <laughs> Where the Nomai born? Sorry, were the no? God, were ahead. the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born amongst the other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? That's my that's my impression of your horn films. These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno archaeological expeditions. Ah! We did it. All right, we made it there. Any other bits? Uh, that one's probably interesting. Yeah, um, this guy right here. Yeah, uh, it's a the crystal was taken from an Omegaron on Brutal Hollow. I mean, do a, uh, it's, at some voice. It seems to create a local gravity distortion. <laughs> Are you just doing me? To use the tra its reverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh. So run up that ramp and jump at the jump at the wall. Okay, so run up here and then jump at into the crystal. Uh, yeah. Oh. And if I jump again, do I... There you go. Oh. So the crystals have like a range. Oh, I like that. Yeah. All right, let me do a Jacksepticeye here. This crystal was taken from Nomai Ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and most like and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out! Let's see. There you go. Nice, nice. Brought, brought another one in. Um, uh, that's an anglerfish. Oh, I like him. I have a... Uh, a tattoo sleeve of a kraken. So I'm big, big, big fan of the, those features. deep sea bitches. Uh, this is the life cycle of the sun. It like it's, uh, it's like a small uh, sun, and then it goes yeah. all the way to red dwarf, and then supernova. Yeah. Um, and then how super was the nova? It was so super that. Hold on, I'm just gonna hit the Jack Septicai Irish one more time. Yeah. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Schert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. God rest his soul. Um, there's one more thing that's probably worth checking out, and it is to your right through that door. Ah, um, I like this. It's just This is just a pretty cool thing that I like. A strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realized there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabriel claims the rock, quote, exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that the effect is extremely creepy. So I look to your left or right. Now look away. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of is that Sherlock Holmes game where Watson like follows you around, but he doesn't have like a moving animation or anything like that, so he just like appears behind you. You know what it reminds me of is is uh, the, the way that the note was written about um, Gabbro talking about uh, quantum physics is uh, it's literally it's the observed versus the unobserved. Like 
these atoms yeah. exist in this state as they are being observed, and they exist differently as they are not being observed. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. But that's just a game theory. <laughs> it's just a game theory. Uh, I mean, that's, there, there's, like, other things to read and stuff, but, like, yeah, generally, I mean, that's pretty much it for here. I've expended if my you want more offensive world, If you want accents. more world building, there is a picture of the four founders of, uh, of the um, Outer Wild Space Program. Ooh. Well, hold on. Space Program is down uh, here? Uh, it's, it's, it's by the entrance, and so you have to leave by that way anyway, so you might as well go. Ah, oh, well, then we're fine. All right. You ready so. for this? Because... Whoa! 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 So these are our planets. There's a couple of them. I will say this is not every celestial body in the solar system. Yeah, you gotta think that there's like... I mean, like right here, some... looking at it, like you can see Timber Hearth, but the Adel Rock is Timber Hearth's moon. And you can't see that on the map. Uh -huh. um, you've got Giant Steep, which is the big water one. There's um, this, whatever this bitch is over here. Yep, there's that. Um, then the Hourglass Twins, which are those two you were looking at before that I said were considered right. one slash your body. Ember Twins, the red one. Ash Twin is the white one. Uh, Brittle Hollow and its moon, Hollow's Lantern, which is volcanic. Oh. Uh, and then Dark Bramble. Oh, and there's another one right there. What are you? Uh, that, what are you, little pig? Uh, that will come up probably later. I will say that the uh, the hardest thing I'm trying, the thing I alluded to earlier that uses the flight mechanics that might work out to be the hardest thing I've ever uh, done in a video game is to land on that because it is very close to the sun oh, and if you fuck it up at all you go you sailing die. straight into it. Also, we got some just some, some like, solar flares. Yeah, yeah, solar flares ready to kill. Also got some moons. Some moons there, yeah. Well, I am Immediately. Can you go back to Dark Bramble for me for a second? Uh, to which one? No, never mind. Don't worry about it. Which one? Hold on. Uh, Dark Bramble. Dark, Dark Bramble. All right. Zoom in. What am I looking for? Yeah, because you see, it's like, it almost looks like an exploded planet. Yeah, it looks like a planet that blew its own shit out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's terrifying. I get why they call it the Dark Bramble. Yeah. And not like the cool, chill Bramble. It's also pretty far away from the sun, so it is yeah, ostensibly I mean, a Dark I'm Bramble. I'm sure that, ostensibly speaking, this is the darkest of the Brambles, but also it looks the spookiest. Yeah. So it's definitely the spook, the spook of my place. Give, give it like a, we could call it Dario Gen... Sorry, Dario Argento's Bramble. It was, it was I will say, one of the first places I went. Uh, and when Pat, when I told that to Pat, he went, holy fuck, you're hardcore. Ha! <laughs> 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 he was he was apparently more Oh cautious. no, it's Hornfist! Yeah. Oh, you ready? God, this, is, this is why I said you were ready for this. It wasn't about the map. It was because this is the man, the myth, and the, the legend. Here you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. It was, I stumbled through that one. Yeah. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomar translator too. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hale should be very proud of your work. Tell me what's your plan once you're in space. Oh god, what is my plan? Yeah, well it's up to you to decide. Uh, it's a pretty open game. I'm gonna learn about the Nomai. I'll meet with other travelers. I wanna go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I wanna wing it. Um, I wanna wing it! No, that seems like the cop-out <laughs> answer. That seems like the coward's answer. Um, I want to meet up with other travelers. I yeah. I want to meet the I want to engage with these characters. Totally, I get that. Yeah. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see. Shed is on the Hourglass Twins, Ryback is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant Stape. This I checked. Yeah, well... There's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even alive. Feldspar's been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Eska stationed on the Idle Rock. They're not a traveller so much as the Lunar Local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate our visit nevertheless. Well then, looks like there's... <laughs> well then, looks like that's all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. So you can be super cynical about this or optimistic. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Excellent. 
You'll be needing the launch codes then. I would love it if that response is the same no matter what you picked. Right. Did you pick the... Off? No, I picked the same one you did. Okay. Yeah, they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to the ship, eh? Good luck out there. And let me know if I can help you with anything. You got your launch codes. Okay. And I've also really damaged my vocal cords. I know. I'm trying to do like a, a crocodile then be crocodile. But also like nice, I'm not yeah. like I know I'm not nailing the accent, so I just I hope nobody's too terribly offended. Hey friend. Alright. <laughs> You cannot, you cannot give the stat. Like, no one else can have that voice. You're going to kill yourself. No one can have that voice. It can't come up. I was throwing that one in as a bit there. I but. see. I thought you were getting ready to voice the statue with that voice. Does the statue have a dialogue? No. The statue oh, doesn't God. have dialogue. It's All a right. statue. I, that's, I, as soon as you were like, ha, 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 I was like, oh, God, have I just signed my soul to the devil? No, 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 no. The All statue right. does not talk. All right, so um, so that's your that's your picture there uh, of the yeah. of the the founders, uh, Hornfels, Gossen, uh, Feldspar, Feldspar Esker, Esker, and Slate. Slate. Esker not pictured though. Uh, yeah. Oh, why is Esker not? Uh, I'm sure I'll. He probably guys. took the picture. I don't know about that. I feel like you're bullshitting me because you know how this game plays out. I mean, I'm not. I'm I'm not bullshitting you. I don't know why Esker is not pictured there if he's considered a founder. All right, I'll take that. I will accept that. Oh. Hey, hey. So did you get a look at the Nalmai statue? Oh, that was... He was mine. Ah, shit. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, fuck. What was his voice? It's Squeaky kind of, voice team. From hey, the hey. Uh, you get Oink. a look at that Nalmai Yeah, there we go. I oh, got, my I God. The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. It's this here. It's glowing. Why is it glowing? Me? Whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? Fuck you, dude. Um, no, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornveld's tried everything to get that statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gavro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. I don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd better you'd be better off searching for more information on your own. <laughs> Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. All right. It's established its world very well. I'm already interested in these characters. And also, it's raised the stakes in a way that I really want to follow through on. I will say, I, sh I almost shat my fucking pants when the statue turned and looked at me. I was like, I'm not ready for this to be a spooky game. <laughs> As uh, Donkey would say, nobody told me this was going <laughs> to be a scary game. Nobody told me that. <laughs> this one's mine, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Tefra's one of the kids. Hello, astronaut! You going into space today? Yeah, that was the one that... You going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Don't worry. That's what Feldspar said, too, but they never did. Fuck you, kid! Poor Felds will be really sad if you don't come back. Like, how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. You should make sure you don't get lost in space, too. All right, Tefra. More like... Tefra. <laughs> Tefra. More like Teflon. Doing a yeet and a yeet. Here's my friend. Should I, do I talk to, no, I have you the You have the launch code so you can just go if you want. All right. Going into the space and gonna eat a lot of peaches. Now, how long will it take you to take off in the spaceship? Because I said it took me like 10 minutes. So that's your Ooh. space, that's your space suit. I don't need to. While worry. you're in the ship, you're good. Okay. If you leave the ship, you will die. Got my Gravitron crystal. Yep. Got my... This is your ship's log. Um, okay. Basically, any so, information you find will be recorded there. Yeah. That... So, <laughs> um, I like when games have a log of what you've done. Mm -hmm. And I just want to, like, take a quick moment here. I'm going to just kind of peer around the uh, the ship. Um, Majora's Mask was very bad at that. 
yeah. on the Nintendo 64. However, the HD re-release for the 3DS yeah. of Majora's Mask did one quality of life improvement that made the game undeniably one of the best Zelda games, and it introduced a log. Yeah. Where what you accomplished during your three days got tracked. I, so you knew what you hadn't fucked up. I liked that a lot. Um, a lot of people don't, so be careful what you say. No, I think it 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 makes the game playable, in my opinion. All right, here we go. I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. All right, lift off. So you, your X is your lift off landing yeah. camera. So this is below the ship. Looking down. Okay. Wow. All right, so you're in space now. Where are you going to go? Because right now you're flying directly into the sun. That's, no, I'm looking at the sun. How am I... Oh, that's something. That's a um, uh, deep uh, ocean... Uh, giant's deep. So you're above it right now. And the arrow is there to let you know that. So if you put your downward thrust on, you'll... You'll line yourself up a little bit. There is also an autopilot. It'll fly you right to it. Uh, and you no. can, of course, hold A to match velocity. That's what I was trying to do. Should I be giving a shit about Giant's Deep at this point? It's entirely up to you. The game is completely open. You can go wherever you want. You do know, you did learn that uh, the Giant's Deep is where the statues were found. So if your goal right now is to find more information about the statues, it's probably not a bad place to go. I mean... Wait, um, I know that there's a like a... A time loop element to this game. Is there a way in which I engage with that time loop? Um, most for the most part, the time loop exists for you to preserve information. Sure, but like, is there something that I need to do to like activate? Like, in, no, you don't need to. You don't need to activate it in the game minute. You pick up the sir the sword, mm -hmm. and the sword is cursed, and the curse is that every sixty seconds you die. So. On the first loop, you will probably realize when the loop started. Okay, all right, all right. See, so now you're pulling away from it. You've got the minus speed, right? So Giant Steep's your first stop, huh? I think so. It's not a bad choice. Trying for it. It was the last planet I visited, so that's really interesting to me. It was the first planet I saw. Oh boy! Wowie! That's your, some... your ship's fine underwater. Oh well, then fine. Yes, <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, I, I should be looking for like some sort of center, right? Yeah. Like probably. Uh, uh, it looks like the tornado stopped me from going in. Huh? Oh, Whoa! There's more planet. Oh, you're caught in that current the guy was talking about now, right? Oh! How do I get out? Well, you can't go through it, so you'll have to pull up. Oh, for fuck's sake. That looked like a fucking thing. Oh, nice. What is... How do I... It's, it's, that's uh, another one of the Harthian ships. How do I do anything? You can't really do anything with it. But remember, um, Gabbro's here. So this is probably Gra Gabbro's ship? Probably Gabbro's ship, yeah. But it doesn't look like he's here right but now. But I, I can't do anything about that? Like, no. I, I really want to fucking board it. I know, you can't board the other ships. That's kind of a, disappoint uh, kind of a disappointing thing. Uh, fine! Fuck you! What is that? Uh, well, you heard there were islands here. Yeah. You might have an easier time... I, this is just a hint, not a spoiler. You might have an easier time navigating this planet if you decided to do it above water. Well... Okay. Like, it wants me to go there. Uh, that's because you're still locked onto the planet, so that's, like, center mass of the planet. Sure. Should I go in? If you want to go in, that's totally fine. <laughs> uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm Ben's not, being I'm not, cryptic. I am not here to guide you. If you want to go into the tornado, oh, then find a way into the tornado. 
seems to be the eye of the storm. Oh, God, but of course. Ah, these games! Doesn't look like I have the ability to at this point at least. You do not you do not gain new abilities in this game. You sure. can, with the right problem solving and a good attitude, get into that um But then I'm point. stupid. You're not stupid, Scott. Hold on. Is that should I... see what's going on down? You are so much better with this ship than I was. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, my dude. <laughs> I'm feeling proud already. No, Scott! <laughs> oh no! You I need to, to. You forgot to put your space. How do we get back in? Oh, I just died. I was doing good. You did so good. God, I knew that you said that, but I just I was so excited. Damn it! Where is it gonna land me? As it were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gonna take a lot to drive me away from you. <laughs> There's nothing that a hundred men it's or lovely. more could ever do. I bless the rains down in Africa. I bless the bends down in Africa. So there you go. This is Africa. the start of your loop. Every loop you're gonna okay. wake up here, but you have the launch codes now. I already got them, remember? How do I get back here? Which, uh, what's the appropriate? Uh, either of them are fine. Any, like, any of them are fine. Wait, did I just die? Uh, no. Don't be a bitch. Go get the launch. I got the launch. Fuck you! Pew, 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 pew! You, uh, you can't see this because this is not a visual medium in terms of our appearance on it, but uh, we were flipping the bird. Uh, there was at least three birds flipped. Come on. Let's fucking go. I will also one of the first things that Pat asked me was, um, uh, was have you like when I when I told him I'd started playing the game. One of the first things he asked me was, have you forgotten to put on the spacesuit before you left the ship yet? Uh, and my answer was, <sighs> so no, I've never done that. <laughs> well, but evidently he has, so don't feel bad. Come on, come on. You know, the space travel actually feels a lot more uh, natural than I expected it to. Yeah? Yeah, because, like, I was, you know, uh, basing basically my entire understanding of this game off of the um, the Besties podcast, mm. where they were, like, some people were very much big fans, and some people were not as big of fans. And uh, one of the people who was not a huge fan of the game said... Yeah, and I got motion sickness and had to turn it off. I could totally see someone getting motion sickness if they were playing this game, like, VR. This was just somebody playing on a PC. Uh. But, like, yeah, like that. Like, I just was expecting this to this part of the game to be more difficult, you know? Yeah. Um, and, there, like, to be fair, it I, takes practice. Should I bother? You can do whatever you want. Ben, I just, I need, a, like... Is that a good place to land? Sure. Um, I would say in the, like, on this planet, in the blue, uh, you don't have to land in the blue, like, the blue places. Yeah. Uh, on this particular planet, and there are some islands that you will not be able to explore, because if, if you stick to that rule, it's a hard rule, because they don't have those. Sure. Um, but uh, it's not a bad idea to be on those. Well, I think that one thing is that uh, in the trailer that I viewed for this ah, game. Ah, right. Uh, it seemed to have been on this planet, mm -hmm. and there was a sort of beach level, beach area, that kind of looked like that. Yeah. It it almost looked exactly like that. Interesting. Let's just... Let's just... Let's just... Yeah, you don't have to be particularly gentle when you're putting her down. Okay, I think I just go and get a suit. Attaboy. <sighs> All right. 
I have reason to believe that I might meet a friend here. Yeah. Also, the gravity here is uh, a bitch, so be careful when you're coming off of ledges and stuff. <gasps> Yay! It's Gabbro! I found Gabbro! Second try. First try, but second try. <laughs> second try. Um, do you want to be Gabbro? Hey, nice, it's you. Glad to see you made it here in one place. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? I keep kind of going into that sort of like mid Midwestern sort of like... You know, I would love you to do him the way that you do um, uh, Bill and Ted. So, hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have just like died somehow. Do you, do you remember, you know, like dying a few minutes ago, maybe? Uh, yeah, we, uh, definitely died. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. It was way too vivid to be a dream. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking them if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, you're in space now. <laughs> uh, what you're, is happening here? Gonna, I would down thrust. Down thrust. Because you're about to fall and you're about to fall hard. So you want to stay on this, and then you want to engage your thrusters right before you land so that you don't just fucking die. I also wouldn't go into that cave, because it looks like there might be ghost matter in there. Yeah, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! All right, we're good. We went into the water, so we're good. Christmas. If you ever stared at a cyclone for so long and started to hypnotize you, I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you look at them long enough, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> floating away. Um, oh, that's a shame you missed the dialogue about uh, about like how both of you died. I, that got cut short. Ah, there well, he is. actually, after waking up from you know dying, I saw th I saw the same bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. I kind of lost the Bill and Ted thing. Okay, I believe. What it. else? What else? Uh, have you been to Statue Island? It's what it's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? <laughs> I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I'd give it a solid uh, 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation style, brah. This was the perfect character for this voice. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's why when you said that, I was like, on it. Yes. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with the two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well... Mostly connected, anyway. You'll see. How's space treating you? Uh, I already asked about where I should explore. What's up with this planet? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you meant, like, tell you more about it. I gotcha. Well, well, Giant's Deep is a massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's, like, a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously. I tried everything I could think of, and neither of them worked. <laughs> ah! That's strong. It's pretty fucking good. That's good. As for land masses... Sorry. Hang on a second. Yeah. <clears throat> As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also uh, one with the Nomai statue that I saw on the beach. So I'll have you guys, at, uh, you viewers at home, know that uh, Ben had to actually physically position his arms as if he was uh, as air, if was, air as guitar as Bill and Ted like anyways like be, be excellent. excellent to each other dude <laughs> amazing you've seen the cyclone yeah they're hard to miss they'll toss up everything in their path islands included little tip if you get picked up try to land on the water less likely to kill you <laughs> All right, all right. See you later, Gabbro. Cool, cool. Take it easy. Yeah, out there. His, his name is Gabbro because he's a bro. He's a bro. Sorry, they're a bro. They're sorry. Yes, yeah. Should I? You can fire your scout in there to, sh to see if there is is this uh, left bumper or right bumper. Shit. Doesn't look like it. Take a screenshot or a snapshot. Uh, oh, there definitely nope. is. That looks really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in there. I would just then not do that myself. Oh, right. uh, yeah, it looks like your ship had a little bit of a rougher landing than you did. It's not so bad. It, I landed there, wound up there. Um, At least right. it stayed on the same island as you. That's a dope thing, yeah. Yeah. Ben, I Why think... don't we play until your next... The, the, until either the yeah, end of the Yeah, let's see what happens if I die here. 
See if you can see if you can not die. Let me put my guy back on the This hook. will refill your fuel and oxygen. Love that. Point. See, I'm already understanding. Okay. Alright. Oh, I thought you were gonna crash right into that mountain for a second. You are more adept Bang. with the shit than I am. I I like to think that I might have like a good understanding of how this game like the I mean, like an okay understanding. I don't, I don't want to put myself on blast for when I crash this fucking ship. That's it. Is this Statue Island? Looks there, like it might it's be. a fucking, it's a couple of arcs. Is it cool to land here? Uh, yeah, you can land, you can land uh, anywhere. I'm, you can I'm, land I'm, in the water if you want. Yeah, but. yeah, I just, I, like, because he was like, yeah, they're like mostly, like, cool. I just want to make sure, come on, come on. Easy does it, easy does it. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful landing. Uh, I, it doesn't I, have to be perfectly in the blue. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you've taken to this game in a way that I'm not sure that I did. <laughs> I'm feeling... Feeling I, good about it? I feel like I kind of have an understanding of how this is supposed to work. Remember, gravity is twice yeah. as powerful. Oh. So you have your jetpack thruster, but while you're thrusting with your jetpack, if you press A, you see that little bar that says 100% there? Uh, uh, you burn yeah. through that bar, and it is like a booster for it. Okay, so that's all back, which yeah. is cool. So it, and... com it comes back pretty fast, but it comes back mostly fast when you're on land. And you will need to use it to cross small gaps like this on this planet. All right, so should I down. start with yes. the trigger and then A? And then press A. Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we love it. We love it here. Uh, hold to translate. Statue. Statue workshop. Statue workshop. Why was I programmed to feel pain? Big rip. Oh, there we go. All right. Works for me. And works for me. All right. So... You gotta trust it a little bit, I think. Nice. That was a good one. Mwah! Like a chef's kiss. Mwah! Another chef's kiss. There we and go. you got some trees. So you got your oxygen back. Oh, oh dope. All right, cool. Um, oh boy, that looks intimidating, but also got that over there. Oh, oh boy. Gravity's intense, right? Yeah, of course. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? I really want to see the test two Lamai, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably should not. Maybe Floxel, let us see it later. At a later test, sorry. Flox specifically told us not to do that. <laughs> Boy. Oh, geesh. Kids, am I right? Is this something? That's never explained, but I missed it the first time. So if a tornado hits this, these will light up. You can stand in with them not get flowing into space. I like that. Oh, okay. Like so, like yeah, so they're like safe spots for when the tornado comes. Cool. That's that's cool. Okay, I'm making my way down across the arc, walking fast. Faces, Faces pass, pass and, and home down. And I need you. And I miss you. Da -na 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 -na. And now I want to Okay, it's enough of that. <laughs> Welcome to Giants Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet these statues. Written by Phlox. If I'm not... Oh, Because it says the name of the... Yes, of course. Name. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Oh. Should I... What do to get below? Just gotta go down, huh? Guess so. Gotta Probably. have to find a way into the workshop. Down, Assuming down, that's where you want to check out. I don't know that it is. Ben. I'm trying I'm trying not to guide you so much, but you came to Statue Island, so I assume you want to see statues. I mean, it wasn't my like 
when I started, I was like, I'm going to go where... Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, beans. I might be in space. Yep. Get me down. Keep me down. Keep... Oh, hold up. Hold Easy up. does it. Hold up. Remember, if you land in the water, you won't die. Hold up. I might be fine. Are we falling? No, no we're falling. We're falling with style. Nice. Thank that you. was a smooth landing. Thank you. And good control in space, too. I think I might know how this game works. And also, I'll let you know, because you landed your ship in that little blue space, yep. it's right where you left it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so the the thing is down below. There. That's your ship there, yeah. Yeah, but like the, the note was like... The oh, workshop. yeah, the workshop's down below. Yeah. So should I go back down there? Uh, oh, Jesus. You actually, I, um, I mean, you, you, you... Do you have a recommendation here? So if you want to check out the workshop, try going back to the settlement you were in before where you saw that writing. Uh, so, like, back here? No, not that way. The, nope. the other writing where they were like, and how are we getting the workshop? There's a lot of writing, Ben. This is the writing where they were like, they were like, let's go into the workshop the other way. So back here. Yeah. Bagheera. Huh? So that's your workshop down there. I see. Remember we saw, we, we there was that door we passed that had the sign next to it that said Statue Workshop? Yeah. So you got, what you got to do is, like, basically what, like, that writing that you read there, mm -hmm. what did it say? I mean... Do you want me to tell you? Because yeah. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to let you yeah, figure it out, but also throw in a little bit of that. So it did say that there is another entrance into the workshop. Oh, like I feel like I missed that. So it said they should go into the workshop the other way. Okay. So if you look back down in the workshop, you can try to see if you can discern that because you did pass the door, but the door was locked, right? Yeah. Um, I'm just not. You can fire your scout into there. It'll what? it'll go through that. Equip a skill. Well, that's fucking news to me. Uh, launch. And so it's in, it's in there now, so you can take a screenshot if you want. Is it that? Looks like and that's the that's cave. the that's the body of the workshop. Yeah. Well, so I gotta go down there. Yeah. Yeah, if you wanna. Like if you wanna, if, like uh, if you wanna go, then <laughs> do you want to learn about statues, Scott? I would love to spend the the time that this game uh, is asking of me with it. Okay. So the so yeah, you're gonna have to find a way into that workshop. Okay. You know, there's two entrances, and you know one of them is blocked to you. Who? <laughs> Two times the earth, two times the earth's gravity, my dude. Yeah, feels good on my bones. This feels great on those leg bones. So, that's so that's, that's your primary entrance. That's the busted entrance. Do I go that way? No, that's terrible. Ben, so I do go that way. Also, you're not really affected by uh, gravity. Like yeah, the two times gravity in water. water. You can see you're in water, your gravity's like zero. Yeah. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, all the way down, huh? All the way down, he says. Yeah. There you go. I'm a genius. Get me up there. Oh, oh god, you just crashed into that wall real hard. There you Get go. Get me up there. That looks better. She's good. Alright. Come on and slam. And welcome to Scott Solves the Crimes. Scott Solves the Crimes. Found that door. That's So that's your, that's your door out. You can use that as a shortcut out. Oh, for... Yes, this is Dark Souls. Um, what do I hit to make that? So break? you just look at it, and you can move it with your with your eyes. Oh. And there you go. So now you have a shortcut back to your ship if you want. Okay. None of this looks friendly. Vis a vis my gravity, mm -hmm. so maybe That's I fair. go this way. I mean, I would say I would say that your only real option is to go this way. I am glad that I clued in and <clears throat> nice. Yeah, well, well done, well done, well done. Hey there, stranger. 
Oh, you can teleport that back to you by pulling out your scout launcher and then holding the button. But you can also oh, right, it. right. Um, what was it? Uh, Left bumper, or right bumper. Yeah, Thanks, go. friend. Sick. Uh, nice work. Yara, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue when pairing? The statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. Oh god, there's uh, six deep, pages. Deep head, yeah. See how its eyes have opened that tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project! This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. I mean, it really is. <laughs> yeah. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test our my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal. Namoy's or Namai? Nomai's no, no, my memories. I think it's supposed to be like Nomad, but I'm not sure. Yeah, like pronunciation sense. wise. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Oh, that's your cool. I will say, there's a lot of reading in this game. You're in a tornado. Um, you are in the tornado. Oh, oh. Come on and slam. Oh, keep me down. Keep me down. I mean, down. you might be able to use this to get to, the, like, higher up places. No, yeah, we good. We good. We good. We good. Stay down. Stay down. Easy does it. Easy does it. Oh, oh my right God. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I'm an idiot. No, I didn't God. notice it either. Ah, Jesus Christmas. Ah, jeez. Ha! Ooh. Devices. Something I should be able to interact with? What's that glowing on the floor there? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Curiouser and curiouser. Ooh. It appears. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project. Flocks, they look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Ooh. They will? Why is that? Oh god. If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, these statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Oh, God. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should leave the robot voice. Are you sure? I mean, like, we could just read it as us. Because we're the protagonist, right? Hold on. Oh. Oh, boy. What am I dealing with here? Well, this all seems fucked. <laughs> oh, and it certainly... So this the, it's a projection stone, right? Oh. So, like, you're seeing a projection of, of somewhere else, right? So, am I just... Is this a cutscene? No. You can leave it. Let's see yeah. Room. So, so three statues have their eyes, and remember you read that about masks. So these could be the masks, right? Oh now. sure. All right. Well, fuck, fuck you guys. That's fine. I'm keeping it. <laughs> this is this is our toy now. All so right. Basically, these these stones will be used for two things. Uh, one of them will be uh, like to expose writing on the walls like that, and one of them is to look at the location that it is shown. Okay. All right. So do I? Oh no! Oh, all right, I got three minutes of oxygen remaining. Um, ben, I think, logistically speaking, for reasons interior yeah. and exterior, we got to call this an episode. Um, I Hold on, let me get back to the ship. Sure. Uh, come on and slam, and uh, welcome to Japan. Can you pull the map for me real quick? I just want to see something. Uh, let it's me, the, the back button. Just, I, I would love to not die. Mm, that's fair. I know that I die. I know that's the thing about the game. I also am keeping this. This is mine. Oh, hang on. 
Hear that chiming in? Yeah. That's some music. I will tell you this right now. Uh, this, uh, this is your like dawn of the final day music. Like, what? What have I done to deserve that? Am I dying? <laughs> I'm home. The I, music stopped. Oh yeah, that's fine. So that music was like stopped. the music that plays as you are about to die. Is oh that yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, like you were like, oh. I was. I, I know. I was like a minute or two from death or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, oh, and it's playing. It's again. still. It's still playing. Yeah. Uh, if you could, you pull up the map for me real quick. Uh, a pro, uh, uh the back button. That's what you're looking oh, for. Oh shit! Where, oh, there we go. Uh, back baby. This one. Oh, the. Or at least that's what it is on my Xbox 360 controller. I don't know that for a fact. Uh -huh. Oh, do I not? Never mind. It? it looks like it's Am happening I... anyway. Is this what I? No, that's not what I was looking for. Hold up. Let me uh, suit back up. Get down there. Oh, gee. what the franken shit? Is this normal? Yeah. Oh, hey, look, you can see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. What's, oh, oh no! Oh no, I died! When you were like, we gotta call this an episode, I was like, you can't do that right now. I did, the universe just ended. I get it now. Yeah, so that, there's your time loop. There's our minute, there's our Groundhog Day, there's our Palm Springs, there's our Edge of Tomorrow, there's our, um, hold on, I got one more, Happy Death Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everything you learn about that, you get to keep. You keep all of the information that you gathered. Okay. But only two characters will know that there was a time loop. One of them is you, and then the other one is is the first person you spoke to, Gabbro. Gabbro? Yeah. Like, you remember he was talking about, hey, but did like, you just die? Even if I met somebody else the first time that I went, like, Gabber would be the only one. Yeah, who... yeah, correct. What? It's, it's wild how that I works. picked a good one. You did. Anyway, I think we've got to call that there. We're going to play right. this whole game, uh, and I'm going to make Scott yeah, We're going to beat this, as I do. this fucking game to shit. Uh, right. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. We're doing it. Uh, we're going to play the whole game. I'm seriously in love already. Yeah, it's so. a good game. Um, ben... Give a closing statement. I love this game so much, and I hope everyone enjoys watching us play it. And I love Ben so much, and I love Aww. playing games with him. BARF! <laughs>